Hello there ladies and gentlemen, it is Jess here with another review and today we will be reviewing the Dragon Star series Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Okay, the box, the box is a standard Dragon Star series box, Dragon Star series logo, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in the silver font. It's like every other Dragon Stars um, box that we've come to expect. It's nothing new. Same old, same old. And the only distinguishing feature on the boxes, of course, is the illustration of the character. And then, of course, you know, he comes with the standard. Um, uh, grab hands that all the dragon stars come with Okay, so it's it's safe to say that Dragon Stars is getting better and better with their releases and they're getting better and better at um, doing their sculpts. Now, I think they did a great job with the face sculpt. Full name of camera was focused. There we go. I think they did a great job. I mean, it's not the best job. But it's a lot better than like than the first couple waves that they did. I mean, look, the detail on the fur is awesome. The detail on the chest is awesome. The paint application is great. Um, the hair is awesome. The hair, as you can see, um, kind of articulates just a little bit, and it doesn't hinder his neck movement too much um, it, it's a great figure um, as usual you you have a decent amount of articulation I mean that's as much as the the shoulder will go up and down without this joint and of course the shoulder will go up that much the full 360 like that mine's kind of stiff and it will pivot of course 360 at the bicep bend at the elbow through standard pivot at the wrist and 360 There's a bit a good amount of crunch here ab crunch Move just a little bit. We'll do. Oh, I'll do a 360, but I'll pop out. But he'll pop together, pop back together real easy. But it, it'll do a full 360. Um, the legs. He'll kick out that much. Kick back that much. Is he able to do that much of a split? Bend at the knee. There's a pivot at the ankle. And the foot does move like that. This is as far as he'll look to the side. That's as far as he'll look to the side. Can't really look up, but he could look he could look down. The tail, the tail just will do a circle like that. Um, the hair does articulate just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It does move just a little bit. It's pretty cool. Um, I think that for the most part, this is a decent um, representation of Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta. It's, it's not perfect. Um, 
I think that this figure in particular, um, he's a little bit too tall for Vegeta. I mean, I, I do recall him um, in GT and Super Saiyan 4. Even as Super Saiyan 4, he, he should be shorter um, than Goku. And I don't think he's shorter um, than Goku. In this line, he, he appears to be about Goku's size. And he should not be Goku's size. Um, what if I take out Goku here? Hell, dep depending on the way you stand him, he's like Goku size or taller than Goku, I, you know, from the tip of his hair. Um, he should not be that tall. <laughs> he should not be that tall at all. And then um, I also feel like as far as his physique in the anime, Dragon Ball GT, um, he should be stockier build than Goku. Like Super Saiyan 4 makes you like buff and stuff. But Vegeta already being shorter, he should have been stockier. And I feel like the colors are like a bit off with Vegeta, with this Vegeta figure. Um, the red for, the red fur, I mean, it's decent. Um, there's a little bit of a brown hue in the hair at, at least on my figure up close i mean it, it probably just looks like standard black right here on camera but um this this isn't bad considering that the only articulated figures that we ever had of super saiyan 4 was what the hybrid action series yeah, my fellow collectors will know what i'm talking about but yeah he's just he's just too tall in my opinion I mean, if that doesn't bother you, go ahead, pick him up. You know, he was like 20 bucks as usual. You know, that's the selling point is they do, you know, Dragon Stars does a decent enough job and they're at a good price point. So can't argue with that. But before I wrap up this video, um, like, let's, let's check out exactly how tall Vegeta is. Like, How tall is Vegeta? Like Vegeta's looking like a little bit over, like a little bit over six and six and a half inches tall. And it's the same with Goku. So they're like about the same size. I know probably like by angle here, he looks like a bigger figure, but they're about the same size and that's just way too tall. But anyways, before we wrap up this video, just one more thing that I that pissed me off. My camera was having trouble focusing, so I'm just gonna put up um, two pictures of the hands on the open palm hands and the standard uh, closed fist hand you'll see um, that they have fingernail beds he has gloves these guys really just repainted like Goku hands and then just threw them on Vegeta and they colored them that color they have nail beds on a gloved character you should not be able to see your nails in those gloves that's a big peeve of mine <laughs> but yeah um yeah it's just ridiculous but i guess you, you get what you pay for i guess but anyways like i said i like the f the figure it's a decent representation of super saiyan 4 vegeta um for now you know unless the monocle fit do one or 
if this H figure arts finally gets around to doing it. But other than that, um, he's, he's not a bad placeholder for a Super Saiyan for Vegeta. Um, a little bit too tall, you know, for my taste, and a little bit too slim. I feel like he should be um, stockier, you, you know, wider, more broad shoulder. But um, he's okay. I mean, for 20 bucks, he's okay. You know, like I always say, don't pay over $20, you know. But anyways, guys, um, as usual... Um, don't forget to smile, do me a big favor, hit that like button and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.